Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another video. This is part two in the series of the trek to Sandakpur. Yesterday we came all the way from Ilan Bazaar, uh, took a few vehicles, made a few stops, had a lot of bumpy roads, but we made it to Gurwal, which is basically a small village here. We are staying there in that, in that uh, cabin. There are three rooms there. We have some animals here. That's the place where they cook and everything. Up there you have some more houses. Um, but I think there are only like five or six houses around here. So it's really a small village, uh, very remote. Lovely, lovely views. Look at the view here, beautiful. Um, but yeah, so today the plan is to make our way to Sandakpur. Uh, it's, we are at 3000 meters above altitude, uh, above sea level right now. Sorry, it's very early and I didn't sleep too well. Um, so we have about 600 meters of incline today, uh, which is pretty steep, uh, but supposedly we can do it in four to five hours. The locals even said they do it in two and a half. <laughs> uh, I don't think I will do it in two and a half, but we will just relax and take our time. It's now seven in the morning, so we will leave in about an hour. First have some breakfast. Maybe I'll give a small tour here of the place where we're staying. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, different you know this is like raw raw village life they cook on fire you know wood fire uh, no gas there is electricity that 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 is it well, i think it's pretty pretty recent even because those poles look very new for me so i don't know how long they have electricity here already but they have electricity so yeah uh let's go for a day of trekking to sandakpur the highest point of west bengal not in nepal obviously <laughs> but uh it's three thousand 636 meters, 3,636 meters high. That's where we're going. See you in a bit. And let's see if we can uh, wake up Mr. Prasant. Bro! He's still sleeping, he's still sleeping. Hmm. But these guys are blasting this techno music from 5.30 in the morning. That's ridiculous, you know, that doesn't make sense in this environment. But yeah, it's, it is what it is. Kigarne. So this is my room actually. Uh, I slept in that bed there. There are basically four beds. Uh, yeah, it's pretty basic, but you have electricity, one plug, light also. What more do you need? The mattress was... Uh, well, there is no mattress, basically. Look at this. Um, yeah, it was basically like sleeping on the floor, honestly. That's why I didn't sleep so much, but it's all good, it's all good. Today we will trek, and at Sandakpur I think there will be a nice hotel. <clears throat> so that's also nice. A bit more comfort. <laughs> I'm a bit spoiled, you know. Uh, but I can do it for a few nights, but not too long, not too long. So, yeah. wonder what they use this for. I know in some parts of the world they use it to chase away the monkeys, but I guess here they chase away something else with that. Let's do a little tour here inside. They turn off the crappy music. I have a little seating area. Oh, how did I? Yes. Music is off. Oh, they have a heater also here. Oh, for momos, no? I think. What you doing? Hello, namaste. Good morning. Drinking hot water. Drinking hot water? Yeah, sit down. Yes. Drink some hot water. Yes, man. you start break. Yes. You will not dehydrate. Oh, I drink really so much water today. <sighs> really? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Are you ready for the track? I think so. I think so. So what's on the menu? We have uh, roti, roti uh, sabzi, potatoes, potatoes, 
chapatis and we have milk because we are going to walk a high altitude we need diet 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 we need a diet diet <laughs> diet diet <laughs> So look now he's hitting me. Oh no, no, stop me, stop me, stop me, stop me, no. Prasant is getting hit by a kid. <laughs> <laughs> this is buffalo milk. Or cow milk. Cow. Do you die of guy go give ice go do? Cow. Cow milk. Cow milk. Some roti. Do what? Uh, does Potato. it matter if it's buffalo? No. No? No, it doesn't matter, I'm just curious. <laughs> just curious. It's hot. <laughs> no. Come on. <laughs> That's stretching. Don't joke, man. It's going to rain. Okay, so we leave. Yeah, we do stretching and so go. So Prasant yesterday insisted that we leave at 8 o'clock. I was ready at 7.30. Now it's 9.10. <laughs> Who was not ready? Can uh, I stretch yourself? Otherwise you'll face problem. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, let's stretch a little bit. Oh. You should not block when he's straight. Why not? This man will block his, his first night of marriage. You all people keep Oh, watching. of course. But that's for, that, that's for another website. <laughs> <laughs> that's not for YouTube. <laughs> you have to pay for that. <laughs> that's for, uh, yes. That's private. Private video. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Yeah, come on. What are you eating, little friend? What are you eating? You're eating the walls. What is he eating? Okay. Thank you, Thank you but. All right, now we're off for real. So uh, the trek is about what? Four or five hours? Five hours. Five hours, but we're not rushing it. We take our time. We chill out a bit. We eat, we drink, we walk, we rest. We enjoy the views. That's the plan. Isn't it, Kalibai? Yes, Dai. Okay. First, you walk through the village here, I guess. Through the small village. It's a rye village, no? No, it's like mixed one. Ah, uh, mixed? Okay. They have tamar, rye. I don't know, limbo, but they have tamar and rye. I don't know. Okay. All good, all good. We need to go up these stairs? Okay, luckily. Because these stairs uh, look pretty steep. So this is Goral, lonely village. I call this village as a lonely village. Because I came to this village nine years before. Uh -huh. At that time, no electricity, no good road, nothing. Really? Yeah. So I like, oh, this is a lonely place. So I had, I was crazy. I, I was crazy behind the lonely planet, the book. Ah. So I said, no, this is lonely village. This is lonely village. That's where we stayed. But they call it Sandakpur Rural Municipality. Sandakpur Rural Municipality. Damn. I don't know why, but I'm already out of breath. <laughs> we, we didn't even start yet. Let's get a shot of the village quickly. So this is the whole village, right? Yeah, you see. Oh, what are they doing? Playing around? <laughs> Hello, Namaste. <laughs> ah, they're seeing who, who's the heaviest. <laughs> okay, so there are five houses. One, two, two three, three, four, five. Ah. And this one in, Nepal, in, in Ilam, six. This is Pasta. This what? is Pasta district. Oh. We are in now Pasta district. That road is in Ilam district. Oh, so it's there. The border is here. Yeah, that's the border. Okay, so the border okay. Is in Ilam. Ah, where well, we we stayed in Ilam. Yeah, we stayed in Ilam. Okay. La. Let's go now. Let's go. Let's go. And this. Uh, oh, they have leopard here. Clouded leopards. Oh, I hope we don't spot one. Well, I hope we spot one from far away. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Joe. Yes, Tadu. 
Yes. Lah. <laughs> Halo, nama saya. Nama saya. Nama saya. Nama saya. Nama saya. For a little break. Yeah. Our speed is fine. Yeah, we're doing good. You're you have a fast pace actually. Huh? Yeah, such small legs, but still. Uh... <laughs> Man, nine years, same business. Nine years. More than 100 times you did this trail. Not no, more than one. No. Less than. Yeah. I think six. Less than 50, 60. So, uh, still, it's a lot. It's 20, 30, 30, 40. <laughs> So we just chilled here for, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, trying to take a nap and look how the scenery has changed all of a sudden. Fog everywhere, fog everywhere, fog everywhere. Hmm. But uh, back on the road we go. La. I think this could be a beautiful view, but not today. But it's beautiful nonetheless, mystical, like a mystical atmosphere, real jungle vibes, you know. Look at the fog there, you can see the trail there, it's gorgeous. I'm loving it. It's also not too hot, which make it, makes it easier for uh, hiking. Great, great, great. As long as it doesn't start raining, I'm all happy. Dude, come on, let's go. <sighs> the beauty of high altitude. Yes, it's changing all the time, the scenery. Every 10 minutes, different view. Uh, we're back again for another resting spot and uh, we saw a wild horse. Let me try to find it. I don't know, is it really wild or? Semi wild, so it has an owner. It was somewhere there, just roaming around. But I guess it's a bit scared of me. Let's see, let's see. Oh, there it is, there it is. Let's see if we can get closer because it looks beautiful. Hey, don't go away. Yeah, I'm not going to follow it all the way through the bushes, but especially these are a bit sharp. No, I'm not going there. 
Yeah, okay. No horse. I mean, maybe you saw it on the, on the camera, it was a bit hard to see probably. Maybe the horse will come back later and we will have a nice shot. But uh, we're here in the rhododendron forest, no? But uh, we don't see the rhododendron right now. But the trees are very nice. I like how they look. Like round shape. Very beautiful. Yeah, I'm enjoying. I feel like with Prasant, well, he's not on duty now, but we are taking like one hour break, one hour hiking, one hour break. <laughs> So what do you say to those viewers who want to do trek or hike with uh, Ish Nepal Adventure Trekking Tour or with Yatri? What do you like to say to them? They need to contact you, no? Uh, good thing. Okay, I'll give you 10%. I increase your percentage. No, I don't need any percent. You can have. You can do it. So if you want to trek to Sandakpur, which I really recommend because, you know, this kind of trek, you don't meet other people along the way. And that's the favorite trekking for me. You know, if you go to Everest, Annapurna, even Langtang, you meet so many other people. But here, this wild is a wild horse, track. Wild horse, wild yatri, wild nature. Huh? Yeah, everything is wild. I mean, the comfort is a bit different than on the other tracks. You don't have much hotels. Well, on Sandakpur you have, but the last night where we slept, it's not like a nice hotel or anything, but it's enough, you know, it's enough. And even uh, yatri, Mr. Yatri, Mr. Karella, will start doing tent tours as well. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. So he will, uh, he already has the tents and he will arrange tent stays as well. So um, if you prefer to sleep in a tent, that's also possible. So many options. And literally we didn't see any people along the trail yet, except the local people from the village where we left, but after that, nobody anymore. It's, it's already been three hours, we have seen no one. Yeah, no one. Yeah. So it's a really nice track so far, I really love it. So I was searching for the horses in those bushes there before, but look here, one, two, three, I think even four horses. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. <sighs> Just roaming around, exploring. Oh, there it is. Oh, I love horses so much. <clears throat> like horses, my favorite animal. Right guys, Prasant just told me there's a shortcut and uh, you know how I feel about shortcuts. Uh, whenever there is one, I'll go for it. It's a steep one, but this is the shortcut. And uh, he also said, if this is not the right way, that's my problem. <laughs> so I hope it's the right way. We will see, we will see. Oh, it's very nice here in the forest. Look, fog everywhere, wow. What is this place? It's like a, people live here or what? He's a mad dog or not? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, you like biscuits? Ooh. Always careful with dogs. People live here? No, when they camp, when they trek, they camp here. Oh, and they leave the tent always here? Or only during the season? In season. Oh. And this dog, where is he coming from? There is a hut, I said you. Ah, the that's... The hut we find here. Ah. Oh. It's very, very nice here. Like, this place is also nice. And they have like a little stove here. An outdoor camp stove, or how you call this. They cook on this? Yeah. Wow, cool, man. Okay, we move. So this is from certain organization? No, there are a few boys, our young boys. Uh -huh. uh, they just provide this facility when the tourists ask for them. Young boys from Ilam? Yeah, they are from Maimadzua. They are working hard for tourism development and everything else. Oh, they are nice. very good people. Nice, nice. So, yeah. Come on, I was not even going to film that I give him biscuits. <laughs> oh, I'll just do a few. I don't know if it's good for the dog to have your biscuits though. So this is our uh, scripted part. Which scripted part? <laughs> I leave it here. So now, now you say, "Oh, my dog, so happy!" See, you you forget to say this thing. You are <laughs> scripted. We didn't. We don't script anything in this video. 
and Prashant is teasing me. Until and unless he wants to escape, you know. A little bit more. Here. He's not with me. For you. Okay, that's the rest is for us. He's eating it, no? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's good. So somebody lives here. There's one. Okay. Okay, doggo, enjoy. Now we go. La. La. How you say dog in Nepali? Kukur. 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 Kukur kale. No, kal kale kukur. Kale, kukur. <laughs> kale bai, kale kukur. Oh, so we have to search now khaire kukur. <laughs> I, I'll show you, I have one khaire in my room. You always come for biscuit. Oh. <laughs> and look where we're walking. We don't even know where we're walking. There's no visibility whatsoever. You see like one meter ahead. That's it. See, they have a stick to go down. We also need that when we go down. Namaste. I'm a good one, brother. They come from Sanakpur. Yeah. Like a like a bunny. Tixa. We're uh, 8.3 kilometers in, 3,500 meters altitude. We did, I don't know how many steps, but lots of lots of steps. And now we have about two kilometers to do and about 150 meter of incline left. So we're not there yet. <sighs> but I'm not as fit as anymore as before. So it's not that easy, but it's okay. I got this, I got this. <sighs> I think he has seen me last time. Yeah, ah, he remembers maybe. Yeah, three weeks before, with the Bengali people. Ah, oh. a good memory. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, guess what? Sandakpu, we made it. We made it. And just as uh, Mr. Prasant Giri, aka Mr. Karella said, we, were, we will reach at four o'clock. It is four o'clock. Exact four o'clock. Well done. Kalebai. And this is the pillar of the border of Nepal, right? Yep. So we're pretty I'm much. In yeah, now I'm in India. And where's Nepal? There, behind I'm that. In Nepal. Okay. I'm doing uh, no, more, no man's land. No man's land. Yeah. Oh, like because if I go to India, I'm doing illegal stuff. I'm illegal now. Illegal? Johnny Saint, doing illegal thing, huh? Illegal. Illegal? Illegal. illegal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop now. Yeah. I have a visa for India, by the way. It's still valid, so. But yeah, this uh, Sandakpu is shared with India and Nepal, basically. And you can roam around here. Um, but there are also soldiers, you said, right? Yeah, and they can, they can check your papers if you want, if they want to. So you need to carry your ID and passport and all these things here. Visa. So we're going to stay in Sunrise. Uh, this is where we're going to stay in a Rasta restaurant. Sunrise restaurant. Oh, I could eat something. Oh, and drink something hot because it's cold here. It's really cold. Okay. Let's find some place to chill and relax. Well deserved relaxation. 
We have a yak here. They live above, above 3,000 now. Yeah. So hairy. Wow. So hairy. You good, bro? Say less. It's raining? Okay. <laughs> it's four, yeah, he said. At four o'clock it starts raining, and it's four now, so it starts raining. <laughs> he knows, he knows. He's been here before. <sighs> but the oxygen levels are quite low here because we're at 2600. <sighs> no sticker from Yatri here. No Yatri sticker. No, I haven't. Oh, okay. Oh. I see. All right, guys, this is where I will be sleeping tonight, and it's so cold here. Oh, I had some cookery rum to warm up, but it didn't help. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm dying here, really. I think I will use all these blankets, all of them. Oh. Freezing cold. Ooh.